finally a much needed new multimeter and I diagnosed how the wiring worked in the window wipers that took forever and here we go a little bit more we got about 50% of it wired all together all the dashes in there all three of the other harnesses I made I just need to worry about putting the connections for oh man the back on it but it's coming together <sighs> I have to order more parts I swear you think you're almost done and there's fifty dollars more of parts to order and that's been like that since day one of this vehicle so yeah a lot of money so finally I got my new order from Dell City hopefully the last one fingers crossed and well I got these relays but they're not from Dell City they're lots of connectors I bought the fuses and I think it's all there. We're going to find out because I'm tired of making all these orders. I'm going to try to put the rest of the board together. I'm about 70, 80% done. Then I'm going to have to tear it all down, make a terminal board for it to make it fit in the car, and wire it all up and it'll be done. Alright guys, so I have it all wired up. And as in all wired up, I mean just the terminal board for the most part. So here it is, the terminal board is actually done. These are just kind of laying there because I want to wait till I put it on its actual base. This is just cardboard mock-up. On the back, you can see every wire is connected. I actually have a couple little extra ones not connected because they're just for expansion for the future if I ever wanted to do something. But that's the gist of it. So after I finish putting this onto the actual permanent board, I didn't have to go through everything again, make sure it's correct. And then after I make sure everything on the board is correct, then I have to go to the original wire diagram, make sure just everything's real quick, correct again, especially in the voltage regulator and the window wipers. That's the main main areas of concern for me honestly. And then after that I have to wire up the dash the rest of the way and put the rest of the bulbs and everything into it. Fix the HVAC or heating and conditioning. I don't think it's air conditioning. And what else do I have to do? A couple other little things. I want to redraw the wiring diagram as well so I have to mark all that and then I should be done. But until then there's still a lot of work to do. Alright guys, so here's the terminal board in its most basic stage. Alright, so you can see I have the holes for putting the wires through it. This is going to be the side where the actual terminal blocks are going to be on, the power distribution. The, I'll make another piece of wood that will be similar to this, but it will be for the other side that has the relays and everything else on it. So all I need to add to this is a couple of holes for mounting them together which you will see eventually and understand and then I need to put the rest of the holes on the other board so this will be real fun so here are the two halves of the terminal board all the holes are drilled they're all mocked up so now I'm gonna paint them with some plastic dip plastic dip I actually have pretty good luck with so I think it's gonna be a good little flame retardant uh, application against some uh, electricity sparks or whatever I don't know I'm pretty tired but I gotta get this done so hopefully in a couple days I can drive it so I'm getting I'm getting ready all right so I have the terminal boards all painted up I got most of the wiring off of the old just kind of draft board and I started wiring up the dash finally holy crap is that a lot of work and I have bad lighting again but you get the gist of it and I'm going to try wiring up the rest of the board and then show you guys what it looks like when it's wired up for the most part. Alright, now it's finally starting to come together. I have all the wires that go to the terminal board on it, so all you really have to do is plug in the wires from the wiring harness. Then here's the back side. Kind of give you an idea of the layout because I'm probably going to put this in the car pretty soon. 
these are the relays for everything that needed relays. So I got a defroster relay, a fan relay, accessory relay, horn relay, and then these are a combination of the headlight relays and everything, basically, and the parking lights. So I also have a setup so that whenever you turn on the fog lights, which I want to install, they go on when you put on the parking lights. Let's do this again. You turn on the parking lights, that allows you to turn on the fog lights. When you turn on the fog lights, you're not allowed to have the high beams on and the fog lights on at the same time in Pennsylvania. So I have it set up so another relay kicks off the fog lights when the headlights get switched on. And all these relays and everything are all controlled from the original controls. Let's see over here. So I have it wired up so that whenever you use just the regular controls on here, it still does the same thing. However, instead of running all the power through these thick wires that you can see on the original setup, they're going to be going through real skinny thin wires on here. And on the back side, it just has some of the extra wires that need to be on the terminal board itself. So all you have to do is really plug in and play. And that's the gist of the wiring board. All right, so here are the switches for the different accessories. I got the fog light, the fan, the fuel, and the defroster. And the way I'm going to mount them is in here instead of a radio. And what I did was 3D print a plate for them. The plate fits, right? Fits really well, actually. Let's see. Right in there, like so. And then what I can do is put these in each of these holes, and I'll cut back whenever I've finished assembling it, and you kind of get an idea what it looks like. I'm actually kind of proud of it. So you can see that it kind of fits right in there. It actually fits really well. All it is is these four things mounted to this. I got the two screw holes right here to hold it into the base. But yeah, I got fuel, fans, fog lights, defroster. So yeah, I think that's actually pretty neat. After spending the last few days tediously double checking every wire, it is finally ready to go into the car. All right, so I have everything all ready for underneath the dash. All the connections have been converted to other packs and I'm about to plug it in. And man, that was a lot of work. Kind of see the color coding I'm doing. So here it is. It's all wired up, at least in its temporary spot for right now. It might sit like this for about a week or two before I decide to put it in its regular location. But everything is all done. All I have to do is attach this, which I am actually not going to show you guys the first time I do that because if it burns down, I don't have to worry about a fire extinguisher and recording at the same time. So wish me luck. So I might have something crossed because I turn on the thing and I pull this, my wiper, my washer comes on. So let's do it again. Yeah, and my brake light goes off though, so hmm. You got the engine bay pretty much taken care of. That looks like a mess, and that's because it's temporary. But yeah, so I am just about done with everything I need to do, except for the electric fans. There might be a few more kinks with electrical, I don't know, but it's all because the wiring diagram was not consistent. So, it's not my fault. There she is, running. Running pretty rich right now, I'll be honest. But, uh, and the second time you're reaching it again, it's not like any throttle right now, but I'm not too worried about that. Just super stool? Alright, so here's the 240Z. Let's see. Doesn't work. 
Now, I originally had it so I just turned on whenever I wanted it to. But we'll just add the key to the ignition. So brake light works. I can let go of the brake light, pull it back up, back there. These turning signals work. And then I got four ways. But for some reason that left light bulb went out. It actually worked, but I think the bulb burnt out. Gauges. So this yeah. I got a heater now. What else works? Oh, my favorite thing. So, I want to turn on the lights. Parking lights should be on now. Yep, and they're on in the front. And then, my... F Let's do headlights first. The headlights, and bada bing, bada boom. So we'll turn the headlights back off. But, we have... Well... Now I gotta turn off this light. Hold on one second. All right. Ooh. Man, it's so hard to see. Well, let's do this one. Turn this off. So, turn. Can't see it that well, but the rheostat does work. Oh, that's beautiful.